The next bill on the calendar for the day is Senate File 1679. Senate file number 1679, number nine on the calendar for the day, an act relating to auto insurance. I recognize the author, Representative Swazinski, to explain the bill. Thank you, Mr. Ch uh, Speaker. Members, uh, before you uh, is the uh, TNC bill that you may have heard about uh, a little bit uh, in your email box and uh, throughout this session. Uh, maybe saw it in a truck driving by throughout the uh, early part of this session around the Capitol. Um, what we have here uh, is the result of a lot of hard work uh, between uh, folks in the industry, uh, this um, new and emerging market uh, of business uh, that has uh, grown across the state, especially here in the metropolitan area in the Twin Cities. Um, some different businesses, obviously this is a, a, a growing, the TNCs, the Transportation Network Companies, um, are a growing part of our transportation network, are filling a neat need. Uh, we're looking uh, with this bill uh, to encourage their development, encourage their growth, uh, while also uh, uh, understanding the uniqueness of uh, personal uh, insurance, uh, commercial insurance, and how those two things play together uh, in a growing business. Um, uh, the Commerce Department uh, in December, in January, wrote a letter uh, talking about a potential gap in coverage. And uh, that is uh, primarily because of uh, the personal livery exemption. So we all, as we're driving uh, our vehicles, we have our personal insurance, whether it be comp comprehensive or liability. Um, the, uh, under that insurance, if you have a, li there's a livery exemption. And that's what this bill talks about a little bit. We get after a uh, portion of that. Uh, Representative Lezinski, if you could suspend for a moment. Members, the noise in the chamber has become quite loud. If you have conversations, please take them to the alcoves or, if necessary, to the retiring room. Representative Swazinski. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. There are three phases uh, when it comes to uh, talking about uh, TNC and their services. You've got the first phase, and when you've got app on, uh, that's when you're out potentially searching for a ride. Uh, the second phase is when you've actually engaged your app on your phone and so you're on indirect going towards to pick up a client. And the third phase uh, is when you've actually got a client on board and you'll be uh, uh, taking them to their destination. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, in statute, uh, that first period, and that's uh, part of what the bill does, is uh, look, looks at the BD BIPD, which is a bodily injury, uh, personal damage portion. And, we've, and uh, we're actually working with insurance and working with uh, the TNCs uh, to, to garner up and, and, and buttress okay. some of that uh, uh, that coverage in that first phase, and that's where a lot of the, 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 the conversations have, have went. Uh, we do have a couple of amendments uh, during this process. Um, we do have... Uh, support for this bill from insurance uh, and from uh, uh, the TNCs, but we do have a couple of amendments. If we could move to those, uh, uh, Mr. <coughs> Chair, we'll talk about them and uh, go from there. Thank you. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Swazinski moves to amend Senate file number 1679, the third engrossment, and the amendment is coded A1. The author of the amendment from Lyon, Representative Swazinski. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, this amendment um, uh, probably would reflect, you know, if we were uh, to go back a little bit and be able to extend this time that we're having this conversation about uh, TNCs and, and from a lending perspective and, and just the way the process works when it comes to collections uh, between insurers uh, and lenders and, and with it comprehensive and the way that process works. Um, you'll see before you a letter uh, from the Minnesota Bankers Association and uh, you know this, I'm bringing this amendment forward to talk about it and the need for it. Um, I personally feel that uh, you know moving forward, but in order to find some compromise on this bill to move this thing forward, so that we can can protect families, we can protect uh, drivers uh, in the way that they believe we need to, and this is new emerging great uh, uh, business that's starting here in the state of Minnesota. Uh, we're going to pull this amendment uh, for the time being and uh, potentially move this thing and work with uh, the parties involved into the future, um, <laughs> and uh, and go from there. So thank you. Representative Swazinski withdraws the A1 amendment. There is another amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Swazinski moves to amend Senate file number 1679, a third engrossment, and the amendment is coded A2. The author of the amendment from Lyme, Representative Swazinski. This amendment, uh, folks, um, really uh, gets after uh, 
trying to find a little more common ground uh, with this bill um, through the rental community uh, when it comes to the Hertz and Rent-A-Car and those other organizations, they also have part of their business kind of a ride-sharing agreement. And essentially when you're dealing with insurance, you're dealing with a livery exemption, it's all about doing service for a fee. And so that's why we're moving this bill forward. Uh, and this is some clarification language uh, that gets after uh, using uh, essentially a website or a mobile device, but to only for ride-share, so essentially carpooling, which your insurance is covered. Uh, when you're not doing the fee for service, uh, but in an effort to uh, um, keep uh, this bill, uh, uh, keep this bill kind of in the range of uh, 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 support around around the horn, we're going to pull this one back as well, and uh, uh, and uh, ask for your gr green vote on the final bill, and uh, stand for questions. Representative Swazinski withdraws the A2 amendment. There being no further amendments to the desk, the clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, Senate file number 1679. Third reading. Discussion. Discussion to the bill? Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll. The clerk will close the roll. There being 131 ayes and zero nays, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.